It's me, and I'm actually in a bikini. Beekeeping. Yes, I know that one and one or two ain't no problem that I can't see through. As long as it's just me and you, my crazy little bees. Are you ready? So today I'm dealing with dead out hives. Um, I have my hive that I said I'd come back to. It's really cold. So I'm just going to collect any bees I see lying around down here for a minute. And then we'll get right to it. All right. So I just had some paper in there. Yeah. Some old sugar patties. Maybe my bees would enjoy that. out there for them. So what you want to do when you're dealing with a dead out hive is really just look, you want to look for the reason why they died. I already know, um, but I don't think, as you can see, that it was foul brood or anything like that. I just want to brush off all of the dead bees. So you just want to inspect all the frames, brush off all the dead bees, make sure there's nothing funky going on. I'm pretty confident it was either mites or queen loss. See, it all looks pretty clean. I have had it out for bees to clean up for me, which technically if they have a disease, you really shouldn't do. But yeah, you can see the sugar in there. It wasn't very damp in here at all, so I know it wasn't moisture. Last year I lost all my hives from a dumb mistake in moisture in the hive. And that's just all crystallized. So you just want to clean everything up. So you can see all the bee carcasses. The other bees were in here, so that's why it's all kind of chewed up in there. Um, but I have a pretty good feeling. I don't see any evidence of foul brood. They don't look damp, so I'm pretty certain it was mites or queen. So any of the dead bees in the hive, I'm just going to put into my jar. What? Oh my god! Look at this! the queen oh my word there she is isn't that the saddest thing you've ever seen in your life put all the frames back. Let me sweep off the bottom board first. So now that you've gotten your jar of bee carcasses, I'm just gonna go over. There's my queen on top. Oh. Got her. So 
I'm just gonna go over. Sorry about that. So I'm just gonna go over a few things um, that you can do for your bee funeral. There isn't any relatively like perfect way to do it. I just feel a lot of beekeepers don't pay their respect to their bees and they just... When you do lose a hive, you need to go through the grieving process, which is different for a lot of people and different for beekeepers. This was my very first hive that I got. My husband and I both got our own, so we had two together. And now going into my fourth year, now that it's died, it's very emotional for me because these bees I've split and they're so gentle and they know me. My nose is dripping. And um, yeah, so it's been a really nice adventure with these bees. So however you grieve, the loss of your hive is entirely up to you. One of the ways you can respect your hive is by having a true bee funeral. For full hive funerals, take your time to plan in advance your ceremony. Write down what you want to do and what you want to say. Invite only those who know and respect your bees. I will be inviting all of you, my viewers, to watch the bee funeral because I know you respect my bees. Make a candle from your bees very own beeswax. Whenever you feel alone or in a situation where you want to remember your bees, you can light the candle. Create a memorial for your bees. Perhaps you would like to place their bodies or ashes in an urn on the mantle or spread them somewhere where they like to be. Work with a child or a teen who may be struggling with the loss of your hive and your bees. Oh, Gertie, I'm sorry for your loss. I'm sorry for your loss. It's gonna be okay. Oh, yes, it's gonna be okay. For those who are artistic, it'll be easy. You can create bee art or different types of bee-related art to remember your bees by. Plant a tree or a flower for each bee. There are many options here, but in this case, a full garden for each member of your hive or a forest if you're planting trees. Gather people around together for a blessing. Honor your bees with a dedication. You may be able to dedicate a park bench or a garden to your bees. Scatter your bees' ashes or their tiny bodies in a meaningful place. Again, there is no wrong way to grieve the loss of your hive or the loss of your bees. Take time to learn what you are feeling. For example, you may just want to sit down and think. So, we will catch you later on beekeeping with Liz in a bikini. Um, we will be holding a bee funeral this week, so please come back. Hopefully it's warm enough. I'm in a bikini. And celebrate and remember my bees with me. Thanks so much for watching. Like and subscribe. Ooh.